There were certainly opportunities to score for Mitun and Mushfikur who started as the overnight batsman. A number of deliveries which invited that ability to score. Mushfikur got to his 22nd score 50 in test cricket. And even Mitun risk the odd bound. And that's the way he got out. It was a good peg in the end from Craig Bethwood. And Niton Dash played some good shots. And that was really close from Mushfiqur Rahim. Rakim Cornwell, just bowling at that spot pretty often, forced the batsman to play that shot. It was very close. And then again, just the ball before he got out, the way he played this shot. I have no words for it. <laughs> I don't think Mushi will have words for it either. Unfortunate. But again, there, there were a sprinkling of, of deliveries that invited boundaries, and, and that'll be a point of discussion in the dressing rooms during this break. It was always going to be essential how these two come together and back for Bangladesh. The approach, Catch. the scoring rate. Anything that was pitched up was driven nicely, comfortably. Both of them being very, very good players. Bora, 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 bora. Especially on the offside. Mehdi Miraz especially. Very comfortable against the short pitch ball. Against the fast bowlers. Puma a couple of overs for him. Litton does cut to his half century. Patiently waiting, Mehdi Miraz at the other end, looking at Litton Das. Taking on that challenge from Shannon Gabriel. Got a three and reached his half century. So it's been good going for these two batters for Bangladesh. And as they get into T. Just uh, some lovely shots as they eased into the shot, uh, that was a tickle onto the pads, well taken. Went for the review, and then this was immediately after he survived a chance from Cornwall. But, uh, this was rather soft from Media San Miraj after doing all the hard work. And uh, there was a chance of run out if he could have hung on to it, then he might have got a wicket, but uh, a drop catch from the keeper. Rakim Cornwall did well to get a 5-4 and uh, finally the completion of the innings. The West Indians came back, they had a lead of 113, got some uh, long hops which was put away. But then this was a good wicket, Bradway, very important. Umpire said no, on review there's a little touch onto the gloves. Mostly poking outside the line of Austin, giving the 100th wicket to Medias and Miraj and uh, some went pretty close to the fielders this one was uh, just bouncing and spinning back from Tajul surprised Campbell and it struck Trimba and that was the third wicket to go eventually finishing at 41 for three the West Indies lead extended to 100 carry what uh, they can uh, continue with this batting and Bangladesh will be hoping to clean them up as quickly as possible. So that is uh, it from here. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come back soon with more analysis.